hope you and your cousins enjoyed yourselves. Me and your grandnieces have decided to take a trip of our own, as the place has become so dreary and godforsaken in your absence. We have gone to visit relatives. From my daddy's side, you are not yet acquainted with them, in La Caye, a small village just north of Saint-Denis. It's buggy and muggy, but apparently neither is too bad at this time of year. Please, come see us when you can. Yours sincerely, Caroline. Well, thank you, darling niece Caroline. I <laughs> guess I'm coming to see you in the cake. Milton keeps sending us back every day to search this place. There quite clearly isn't a gang of outlaws held up here. Someone is here. Look, those are fresh footprints. Looks like someone might be here right now. Sure, someone is here. There's always someone everywhere. Well, let's look around, then. see if we can find something for Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton, I'd like to find a poison snake for him. That's enough, Mr. Johns. You take Mr. Bunter and search around back. Mr. Orley, let's head inside. Gentlemen, be careful. Okay. ¿Alguien por aquí o qué? Ah, pues sí, ahí está. Arthur, Arthur's here. Oh, Arthur, oh, you're alive. Just about. Come inside, come on, it's raining. Hey, everybody, look who's here. Hey, y'all done. Hey, old man, wake up. Hey, Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? Not yet. They moved him to Sisica. He's been working on a chain gang. Uh, howdy. <laughs> oh, look at this. Just like a job. Okay, okay. Hey! <laughs> How did you folks find each other? What happened? Can, can somebody... Give me a cup of coffee or something. It was Mrs. Adler who saved us, Dutch. After the robbery in Saint-Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then, Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of a living here. Mrs. Adler, we owe you. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. It's been real hard, Dutch. We, we've been surviving, but only just. What we gonna do? Things have been tough. There ain't no doubt about that. Trust me. I am gonna get us out of here. This ain't over. Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Mm. Guess we're more <laughs> interested in escaping the hangmen on our tail? Cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. <laughs> We buried Jose at Dutch. Charles and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Well, here you is. Well, I asked everyone I could find, and eventually someone new said you fools were out here. Come on. Shit. Give me a drink or something. Get your own damn drink. In our absence, Mrs. Adler here has been looking after things. Now sit down. This is Agent Milton with the Pinkerton Detective. Already. On behalf oh, of Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tor, the United States government and the Commonwealth of West Elizabeth. Here we go. We are here to arrest you. Come out with your hands up. Give them to a count of five, then give them everything. Actually, let her have it. Uh, ask everyone you can find. Did you? But the phone is this real bad. Stay out, Ollie. Where are we going? This way. There's a trap door into the other house. We can try to flank them. hacerlo retroceder pues que retrocesa vamos Trecho, eh. Arthur. Oh man, Bill and Sadie. <coughs> you okay, son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. What, what do we do, Dutch? Clearly, we need to leave. It'll take them some time to regroup. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, start packing up. Javier, you and Bill, get out of here. Go scare off any scum still loitering about. We need a couple of days. Now, please, gentlemen. What next, Dutch? 
We just need some time. I just, I, I need some time. Now, we can't go east, because then we'll be in the ocean, so we're gonna have to go north, I guess. I just need somebody to buy me some goddamn time, one of you. You'll figure it out, boss. You always do. What are you gonna do about John, Dutch? John? He's in jail. Well, we'll get him. Abigail, just not, not yet. There's talk of hanging him. It's not gonna come to that. Dutch! Not now, Miss I. Not now. I'm begging you to. They're gonna hang him and break my... The boy's heart. Please, do something. We will. Okay. I'm gonna go figure out how we rescue this bastard. Now? Yes, now. Give me a Doyle's Tavern, a million avenue. Okay. Ahora iré al baño, por cierto. My lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything. Not sure what happens next. The whole thing's been hard on all of us. Most of all on Dutch, who seems half crazed by all we've gone through. Vale, voy a ir al baño. Un segundito. Ya estoy por aquí. Tengo aquí algo para, yo que sé, eh. afeitarme y tal. Que tienen mucha barba. En comparación a la barba que me gusta que, que tenga. Mr. Pearson. How you coming along there? I'm moving as fast as possible. Well, good. All of you. Hurry this along. We need to go. Do you want those men to come back and murder us? Yeah, like mommy. No? Then hurry up. We need to get moving again. Quick. All of you. Joder. Uh. 
It's good to see you again, despite the circumstances. You too. But what do we do now? We need to move. As soon as possible. We've got a couple of days. Some reunion, huh? Well, at least you're alive. So what now? We got a couple of days to work that out. Pues no tiene pinta. Así que vamos con el barbote. Morning, Arthur. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Sure, okay. Good to see you again, Karen. Where's Molly, by the way? Nobody seen her in ages. Good riddance, I say. Susan. Long day ahead. Vale. What? Hostia. Oh. Yep. Yeah. No quiero saber nada. Hola. Hola. You must be real lonely out here, friend. Uh, hello, mister. So, you hungry? Huh? I got food. I got food inside. Come along. Hostia, bueno. Bueno. Don't you hate old Sonny now? <laughs> Don't hate him. What? Oh, you struggled and you lost, but it was quite a tussle, I tell you. Quite a tussle, my pet. <laughs> See? Friendship ain't so tough. And neither is you. Sí, nos han dado por culo. También te voy a decir que se nos, nos han quitado todas las condenas y mierdas así, así que de puta madre.
Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, Mister? <laughs> mister, you, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. You head in there, friend. Go on. Can I help you? Doc, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. <coughs> Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, that do you? Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. Oh, what do you mean? You're real sick. You... It's a progressive disease. And you'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. And getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Now, yeah, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. Pues me acuerdo yo la primera vez que vi esto me, me dio cosita, eh. Esto dependiendo de de si ha sido bueno o malo, se escuchan y se ven cosas distintas, ¿eh? O sea, si eres malo, 
en vez de, de este animal aparece un lobo, por ejemplo. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Grab the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. But it's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, He thinks we're just in it for a lesson, a bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson. Well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. <laughs> I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. What? Yeah. Seems they've drifted down this way now. You're a busy woman, Sadie Adler. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. Good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well. It's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha ha ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing.